time again, another combo video. Uh, first, we're going to show you Strike Master. Another Strike Master. We offer games that have where the play field has some discoloration on the play field at a discount rate. Nothing that interferes with the gameplay. It's just discoloration from people who use abusive chemicals on the top. See, once it gets into the house, that never happens. So we gave this the usual treatment. We have new tea molding. We have new rubbers all around. We have a new plate, new pins. Electronics are all done, so the game is basically flawless. Actually, let me show you inside. Everything is nice and clean. We clean everything up. All the pins, all these pin sections have been washed and cleaned. So now they're all nice and renewed. Frank has renewed the electronics. Thank you, Frank. And the game is really beautiful. Of course, we have our LEDs and top piece of plastic. I could, if I could have got a, get a hold of the designers that designed that, I would have them killed. I didn't say that. LEDs here. We have a mixture of cool white and warm white, and then brand new flasher bulbs for the effects. The, the regular WPC system has been uh, renovated. Of course, the tall bridge rectifier Steve Young cells, so they're higher up off the board. Capacitor over here, and then we've reheated all the connectors. Our, our pin battery, our, no, not pin battery, our disc battery. Pin battery, where are they? I'm thinking pinball machines. The capacitor's here, and then our soundboard was rebuilt. And then we've done a lot of cleaning. And of course, the two and a half to three hour job cleaning all the switches, the game boards over on. We actually pull the board out. If you've been watching our videos, you've seen that happen. Actually, it just occurred to me, I could show you the Heavey family right now while I struggle with this glass. Anthony Heavey's family, we sent them signed grit pictures and stuff. They sent me coffee and things from Ireland. And they've told me they're coming over to visit soon. So we're going to give them the first class tour. But look at these pictures. Aren't they neat? This is the family that happy to get pictures, sign pictures of me. Isn't that nice? They love my pictures, don't they, Frank? Oh, and they sent this little video, too. Hi, Todd. This is the Heavey family, and, and we love watching your videos at, at TNT Amusements. And this is, my new, this is my new machine that me and my dad are making. Hi Todd, Tucky, and everybody at Team Team Music. Hi Todd. Hi Todd. Now, back to the track very friendly. Hi Mr. Todd, Tucky. Oh hey, I hope you have fun with the Team Team Music. We'll see you next year. See you next year with your awesome games. Maybe too. Ah. You do a video, you get a game from us, shoot a video, and we will be happy to show you how it works. You know, I forgot I didn't even show you this game working. Look at that, Frank. Where can you get an eight to start? Ah, the nice thing about the dot matrix is that you can get all those nice effects. Now, you wanna see the silicone spray to, to make the field go faster, okay? And then you top that off after that dries with the Shuffle Alley Wax. And we'll give them a can of that when they get it. So they'll get a can of that. That'll be nice. It's come out very nice, Frank. We're very happy. Look at the side art. Steven did some touch up. Obviously, all the black has been repainted and he did some color matching here. And because we're shipping this, we've marked all of our plugs back here. So everything is very clear in how and where they go. J8, you match up J8, so all the plugs are nice and clear. So when this gets uh, unpacked and set up, it'll be relatively easy for our customer to put everything in. Obviously, we take the, the bed out, and these are shipped flat. If you've probably seen pictures of us shipping these things in the past. We don't get many of these. Donkey Kong Trio. We call that, that's what we call this. 
even though one of the games happens to be Mario. But uh, three games in one, a terrific idea by none other than Namco, who licensed everything from Nintendo. Back here, I'm probably willing to bet the serial number up here is 304. So, I guess they didn't make many of them. Maybe 500? I don't know. But it was only made the one year uh, in 2005. And uh, they put every the three games on one board on the inside. You can see our new power supply here. Even though the old one was fine, but the old one, of course, was 10 years old. So we put a brand new one in. And the Wells Garner monitor has been renewed with all new capacitors. That's all these little things here. See? And you always have to remember to keep your finger away from the See, Frank, Frank, you didn't pull away. He's not in a good mood. It's Sunday. Yes, we have to film these things today, and then I'm going to release them over the period of time I'm away. I'm going to California to the Disney D23. Maybe I'll see you there, because this video will be going up just as it's about to start. Now, you can pick out one of three games, Mario Brothers, Junior, or Donkey Kong. I happen to play all three horribly. <laughs> but I want to show you what they did with the Mario Brothers. One player, obviously the original Mario Brothers was on a 19-inch horizontal. But because the 25-inch tube in here is so big, they, they, could, they could pretty well cram it in and not have an issue. Now in this game, you have to knock these little boobs over. Come on, I'm not doing well, Frank. I can't. Let's see. There we go. No, that, no, that was not good. No, no. All right, now I'm going to do better. Oh, shoot. See, he kicked his thing over. Here, now watch. I'll get it this time. Good. There's one. Oh, no, it didn't turn into a coin. Frank, I'm not doing well. This is embarrassing. Isn't that what Papa used to say? Let's see. Now, that POW button can blow up everything on the screen. It turns everything over. There we go. That didn't last, did it? I did embarrassing bad. We're going to give our customer the original manual. The game is in such nice shape. Um, it needed virtually nothing at all. The solder was perfect on one side, as was the orange formica. I like this surface. It's this beautiful laminate surface that looks really nice. I'll put the manual in the bottom. New, we did change the T-molding. That was showing signs of age. And this is the regular three quarter inch T molding. And the same is true in the front. The original Donkey Kongs had the half inch, the skinnier stuff. We stocked both. We did do some repainting on the sides here, just a little, to get the uh, colors all to match. Doesn't it look nice? It's just beautiful. And we did a coat after he painted, he did a coat of high gloss. Now, this game has these giant casters on the bottom. Frank, if I tilted the uh, cabinet up, so the Peter would tilted all the way. Can you no, go on the side? Aren't they huge? <clears throat> wow! Well, they're the so hefty. exciting. They put the hefty ones on, which was actually a good idea because it wasn't metal on the bottom, but actually like a, a plastic material. Very nice a caster or a leg leveler. And they're on also the driving games like cruising and everything. Namco really beefed that up, and we're really happy with what they did with that. Well, Frank, I see your power play has the, the lid up, the hood up. So before we go to that, why don't we cut to some footage we took of Sean from Binghamton, New York, who drove down to pick up one of those mechanical games. Do you remember? I have all those mechanical games we got in that clean out. Well, he drove down last week to pick it up, and this is what happened. Well, Sean has driven from Binghamton, New York, Binghamton. but it wasn't as bad a drive. It was only three hours. And you have accompanied 
Sean to get his most recent fun-filled fun purchase, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. I needed a co-pilot. You know, a co-pilot. Well, you absolutely. have to have a co-pilot. Yeah. And then uh, we'll get this baby out. I think that uses the same size glass. I'm not sure. For the... Um, yeah, the, uh, the clear glass. But, uh, good. It is. It's, a, it's an old classic wood rail. Yeah. I have, a uh, like the early 50s and these, um... They made like four of these bingo, mini bingo type games yeah. where there's a mini bingo game in the backlash. There's Hong Kong, Hong Kong, this one, which was what called Disc Jockey, and Four Corners, I believe. Do you have them all now? No. Oh, Hong okay. Kong, I don't have. I have an empty cabinet for Hong Kong. Got the innards empty of Hong Kong cabinet. in here? <laughs> <laughs> we had one, we had, the fella had one black backboard with, with score wheels on it. But he didn't buy any incomplete games. The only thing we'll have to look for are bolts. So we're going to get him loaded up. Down here in the bottom corner. Well, Sean, how many games... Uh, do you know how many games he has at home? How many? How many do you have? It's somewhere... It's either 138 or 139. Maybe 139 now. Oh. And how many of them are set up? Ten. <laughs> Ten. But, you know, and more to come. And I've sold a bunch. So, you know. Now this is a true pinball lover. <laughs> Somebody that really loves his pinball. That's right. And I usually, 40s to 60s, you know, I don't like the three-inch three -inch flippers too much, so when I saw you had a bunch of these blue rails here, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I got a comfy time. Well, you, know, you bought your first key, so you always get a discount from now on out. So you just have to tell me what else you want. We have room for another game in here? Oh, we do, yeah. but. I was thinking about that, I was thinking about buying more, but then I said, I'm just going to buy the one I want, okay. the one I need today, and then... <sighs> because, like I've said, 139. 139! I'll probably sell one at York. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> Is this jockey 140? Maybe 139. Okay. It's hard to tell. I got, like, so a you bunch know, of parts. Uh, all right, your too. job tonight is to go home and count. Okay. I do have them in the database, so... <laughs> but, yeah. That's oh. accurate. <laughs> well, anyway, give me the money, then get out. I, I mean, I'll take the money. Look, there's nothing Two, like three, cash. Three, four, five. Cash oh. is king. Cash is king. Don't come with now the charge I'm, card. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a down payment on a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> For the wife. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh. <laughs> and finally, power play. Now this one we did shop. And we really shopped it. Look at this baby. Look at this beauty. Wait a minute. I'm the beauty. My sign is in here to hold it up, so I gotta do it. I own the place. Everything here is done by we. Me. I did this. This is our first power play, not only with the super brights on the top, but underneath the play field we have all LED lighting because we're using that wonderful board from Alltech. Heavy glass, mirrored back glass is near perfect. I think our customer who's getting this puppy is going to be very pleased. And there's the Alltech board. And you guys can see, we've made up a special board that Frank is thinking of making for people who don't want to drill new holes in their board. This will can be soldered in existing holes and elevate the battery off the board and put the button cell on top. So we thought we'd, we're experimenting with it. We're experimenting, right Frank? So that way, you can, somebody can buy that battery if they don't want to drill it. I suggest you drill it directly in, but we think we just give this a try. Originally, Power pl uh, Play had four masked ROMs down the center for the programming. It's one of the early digitals. Now everything's on one ROM to make it easier. We burn new ones, of course. We have a new uh, capacitor here. We reflowed the solder. New bridges in here. All three bridges are changed. These are the heavier duty ones that Steve that Pinball Resource has. And all three connectors are brand new too. So, boy, it's been bulletproofed forever. Right, Frank? You say so. I always say so. Anyway, customer is getting this 
in about two weeks. He's also buying a Super Checks Hockey. But because the game's done, we want to get this folded up and out of here. There's some ch uh, chime coils have been rebuilt. Uh, we took them apart. We put new sleeves in the coils, so now they strike the, uh, the chime. They're really nice and loud. When you first start, either bank of targets down will score whatever it's up to. So two times, so we do this bank. And we're up to two times our bonus when the ball goes down. Real simple stuff. That advances your bonus. Oh, you notice we, we took out the red ones and we put in clear and we light them from below. That's your down post, but this is your up post, see? And that's lit nice and red, look at that. Okay, that's also your up post. Really nice piece, isn't it, Frank? This looks so good. And um, a very good playing game. He's got our blue up here to highlight the red, white, and blue there. White and red. Throughout our field with a color changer down here. Just, just for good measure. Thank you. We'll do it yourself? Frank, I pay you to do this. On Sunday, I'm going home. It's a Sunday. Sunday, Schmunday. Well, I think this is the last game for this video, but remember, if you're going to go to the D23 Disney thing, this video will be up. I will be there. You might be able to see me in California. So we're going to post this video right before the DCA goes up. The Disney something like that. Anyway, that's all for now, Frank. It's all for now.